the next iteration structure na pwede natin gamitin is the for loop statement. So, um, let's have an example. Erase muna natin itong mga previous code natin. And then, mag-create tayo ng bagong code para sa ating uh, for loop statement. So, papaano ang syntax ng for loop statement? First, we have the word for. And then, we have three parameters inside the parentheses. First is the initialization. So, we will initialize a uh, variable n to 10. And then, separated by a semicolon. So, this is our first parameter, the initialization. Second is the condition. Let's have n is greater than 0. Katulad nung ginawa natin sa while at saka sa do while loop. And then, another semicolon. And then, third parameter is the statement to be executed. So, uh, ito yung ating formula na ginamit kanina, which is the n minus minus. So, we will have a uh, curly brace again. And then, ilalagay natin sa loob ng curly brace yung statement or yung uh, uh, gagawin na instruction kapag nasatisfy yung condition sa ating for loop statement. So, mag see out tayo ng n and then katulad ng ginawa natin kanina na meron tayong separator na comma and then to end the statement again a semicolon so again the for loop statement we have three far parameters inside the parentheses first is the condition so we initialize uh, uh, the first parameter rather is the initialization so, nag-initialize tayo ng ating uh, variable na n as integer. So, nag-start tayo sa value ng 10. The second uh, parameter natin is the condition. So, n is greater than 0. And then, the third parameter is the uh, statement na i-execute na ito yung ginamit natin na formula kasi magbabawas tayo ng uh, value isa-isa pamula doon sa ating starting value na 10. Okay? And then, yung ating statement sa loob ng curly brace, kung ano yung gagawin kapag nasatisfy yung condition ng for loop statement. So, uh, let's run the program and then test natin kung ano display. Okay. So, this time, uh, since hindi naman tayo nag-accept ng uh, value from the user at nag-initialize na kaagad tayo ng uh, value ng variable n natin to 10, so may display na kaagad tayo na series ng numbers from 10 hanggang 1. Kasi ang condition natin is if n is greater than 0. So, yan yung way para magamit natin ang for loop statement.